Hello and welcome back to another quick to the point After Effects tutorial. In this one we're going to match the colour of a keyed subject to their new background using the levels effect. A quick and reliable fix I use all the time in my composites. This technique can be applied to any element you're adding into a shot. Okay, right, so where we left off from last time is we've keyed our subject out and I've done a little bit of prep work for this one. I've got some stock footage from Envato and I've just done a little track and we've got our guy tracked into that shot now. So just to sell him a little bit more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer he's on and we're going to call this one Shadow. You know, drop that underneath him and we will orientate the shadow layer and we want that looking like that is on the floor. It doesn't have to be too accurate. This particular shot is, is quite softly lit. As you can see, there's no harsh shadows or anything, so we don't need to go overboard on this, but it helps sell the effect that he's actually standing on the road. And we give that a little rotate around there. So can... Okay, and what we'll do, we'll go up to effect, color correction, and down to levels and we'll just make this version of him very very dark so it's pretty much black and then effect blur and sharpen we'll just use a fast box blur on this one and blur it up and we'll drop the opacity so it's looking a bit more natural and then go up to effect transition linear wipe up so it's coming straight down the uh, shadow version of him and then we will give that a massive feather to soften that up okay and that looks about right there so I've just added a little bit of shadow there just to help sell him there it's not perfect but the main point of this tutorial is to use the levels effect to color match the subject to the background so let's get into that do a little bit of prep work a second so we're just gonna open up the info panel and if you can't see the info tab Go up to Window and then down to Info, you can turn that on. What the Info panel will do is it will give you RGB values for whatever you're hovering your mouse over. So as you can see you've got the different shades of white there and the different shades of grey. And one thing I've been told, I'm not colourblind, but I've heard a lot of visual effects artists who are colourblind, they will use information like this to use uh, the levels effect which we're about to go into to give them accurate colour information and colour matches. Let's select our uh, subject, I'm going to go up to effect and then we're going to go to colour correction and then levels. If you look at the bottom of the view screen you'll see these red, green and blue circles. If you click on that this will show you what channel is being displayed currently. So at the moment it's RGB, so you can see all the colors, you can see the shot as it is. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the individual channels and we're gonna tweak them individually. And if you hit, select the red one, we'll start there. This can also be selected by hitting Alt, one, two, three, and if you repeat the number again, it will take you back to RGB. So Alt and one to get to the red channel, and you can see which channel we're in because there'll be a colored outline around the, the viewport. So now all we've got to do is match a black and white image to a black and white image, which makes it a lot simpler. Okay, so over to the levels effect, channel down to red, because that's what we're tweaking. And if we look at the look at the subject, you can see he's quite dark. And what we want to do is match the lightest point of the subject to the lightest point of the background shot, and the same with the darkest point to the background shot. Uh, so let's get into that. We're just gonna so what is he? he's quite he's, he's quite dark there you can match these values over on the info panel here if you want to get really you can usually eyeball it but if you're if you're struggling you can match darkness to darkness well, I tend to just eyeball it so I just want to raise this a bit till he is lurking so the black point is I'm just gonna try and match him to this dark point over here, which isn't going to be perfect because then they're not the same type of material, but just give you a little bit of an idea. And the same with the white point. So I could bring him down to dark and that up, or if I wanted to make him brighter, 
I can do that. But in this instance, we just want to bring him down because it's quite an overcast day and the colors are a little bit subdued in the, in the background. So we just want to bring him down a little bit. And I think for now that is okay on that. So we're going to hit Option and two or Alt and two on Windows. And that'll bring up the green channel. And again, as you can see, very dark compared to the background. So we're just gonna move over to levels and we're gonna brighten up those dark spots until we are happy with how he's looking in the background. And then we can maybe add a little bit of brightness into him. And yeah, that looks about right. So I'm just trying to match the highlight value of this to this part over here. So it doesn't look too bad. So, so far we'll just skip over to number three. So again, option or alt free brings up the blue channel. And you can see there's a lot of darkness in this one. So we just need to bring that one up as well. I'll bring that up. And maybe add a little bit of in the end. We'll see how that looks when we come out of number three. So you'll probably go through this a few times just to, you know, especially if you're eyeballing it, you go through it a few times until you're happy. When we hit option three, that's not that bad. Some of the mid-tones are, are all right. We've gone a bit too heavy on that. So we'll we'll go back through and we'll just, uh, just bring it back a little bit back into there. So if we add a little bit there and again, the green channel, a little bit back in there, and now to the blues. And you can see, because we haven't touched the blue channel yet, you still see a bit of a blue hue in him. And then we'll get back to the blue channel, and then add a little bit of darkness there. Let me bring that down. So we can go into the RGB on the levels and maybe just add a little bit of contrast into, into his suit. You can see a quick before and after. Okay, and there you have it. That's a quick overview on how to use the levels effect to match your foreground elements to your background. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be taking this shot a little bit further and showing you a cool trick that I use to blend edges on subjects that I add into a shot. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you found this tutorial useful. These tutorials are designed to be as quick as possible so that when you're working against a tight deadline, you can drop in, get the answer and get on.